Hey folks, and welcome back here at BTP Sports. We appreciate you guys and your fanship. And if you're not following us on social media, make sure you do so. We're on Facebook at BTP Sports Talk. We're on Twitter at BTP Sports. We're on the gram, Instagram at BTP underscore sports. And make sure you guys are actually subscribing to our YouTube channel, which is Bring the Pain Sports. We realize there's no us without you, and we love you. So now we got the Texans out of the way, and now we have a special guest. Jalavet is still here, and to my right, We've got the owner of Smokehouse Barbecue here in Houston. His name is Mr. Jury, Yuri, my mistake, Thomas. Yuri, thanks for joining us, brother. Thanks for having me. Um, just happy to be here and to represent what I stand for in this food and also come and um, converse with such esteemed panelists such as uh, Mr. Mitch and Jolivet over here. And, just trying to see what y'all have to offer, and maybe we can come around with some good things in mind. In yeah, we, we we plan on it. We plan on it. Now, I know what you, some good things you got, and when we got here, now, when, I, when we decided to have them on the show, I said, now, I can't cut for your food unless I know what your food tastes like. Like, when I first started trying to lose weight, a friend of mine sells supplements, and he inboxed me and said, hey, man, I want you to, you know, can you promote my supplement? I said, you got to give me some samples because mm. I'm not going to tell my people that something is good that I ain't ever used, that I don't know is good. Mm -hmm. So he did that. It worked. So I, I cut for him. Same thing with uh, my man's barbecue over here. So Smokehouse Barbecue, how long have you been in business? In business, um, only a few months. Okay. Um, but I've been cooking. Uh, I, class, I classify myself as a cook, not a chef. Oh, wait, excuse, excuse me, one second. What in the world is going on? <laughs> is he out there food bathroom before we even get some of the damn food? Rich. Rich. Bruh. Uh, Uncle, uh, uh, Uncle Elmer, can we get some? Oh my God, he got cheese and we got a ride to the thing. Oh my God, that Rich. That is the perfect compliment. But that is the perfect Rich, like, pull the bones <laughs> out, brother. <laughs> That's a fat man at work right Brains. there. See, what we have here is the homo sapien just loves eating barbecue. Oh, ends. my God. Man. Well, folks, now you see how good the food is. It okay, is. Okay, so didn't mean to cut you off there, brother, but uh, tell me about um, how long you've been in business. You said a few months. Uh, yes, I've been in business a few months um, trying to get my feet wet and build my clientele up. Um, I try to do things that's different. You know, we in Texas, everybody does some sort of barbecue. Either right. They can barbecue, <laughs> which is about that many people that you ever come across, or they can't. But any any court, when I come along and I try to add my little flavor and a different approach to the same thing. Right. Um, I've been getting good, good results, and I've been getting blessed to be on segments like this. Right. Um, um, I can see the light at the end of the tunnel, so okay. I just try to bring some different qualities in, in the same service that you would expect from your most favorite restaurant, just condensed in a smaller package. That's named it. Named Euro. And, and, it's, and it's funny that you say about the people in barbecue, because when I moved to Texas 10 years old, that's all I heard about was the barbecue, the barbecue, the barbecue. The best barbecue in Detroit is a place called Texas Style Barbecue. Hmm. And until today, I had not had barbecue as good as that place in Detroit called Texas Style Barbecue, and I'm in Texas. This brother here brought some ribs, oh. some macaroni and cheese, some baked beans. With brisket in it. With, yeah, with brisket in it. Mm -hmm. And I say this one for last on purpose, some brisket lasagna. They put brisket in anything. I, I guess it's gonna be brisket uh, shakes next at McDonald's or somewhere, but folks, when I tell you this food was slapping, Jalavet, was yeah. the food? This is the this is the fattest little guy y'all know. This dude eats me under the table, believe it or not. Dude, this barbecue was so good. I say, man, <clears throat> I'm just gonna have to be sleep on camera. And I even had the video bomb his own personal video that he was doing with his phone. Right. Yeah, you probably I did. did I had to. Real talk. And because, uh, to be honest with you, you don't. You know barbecue is good when you have when you eat the meat and you don't even have to put sauce on it. Nothing. It already has its own special glaze on it. I'm not going to tell people what it is because I'm not going to give people their secret away. We're going to let you do what you do with that because right. I'm just going to tell you like it is. Tender, fall off the bone, no barbecue sauce, favorite thing. And it's so good and so tender, the stuff don't even be stuck between your teeth when you get done with it. All of it just goes down. Smooth I ain't going to tell you that lie. I had to pick my teeth before we came on the show. But well, I don't know. Now, y'all know me. Y'all know my new eating habits. Y'all know I don't eat meat. I don't eat pork. It was worth it. You don't eat pork? That's the ultimate compliment. Yeah. That's the ultimate compliment. And I really? don't feel one lick of remorse about it. 
because it was worth every bite. Even little mama in there was like, man, this macaroni and cheese is good, you know? Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> our, our new soccer person, y'all will meet her in, in a little bit. Not today, but y'all will meet her soon enough. So back to you, bro, brother Thomas. Now, what made you want to go into business for yourself as far as barbecue? Ooh, um, well, um, for years, you know, I've been, I've always been a very hospitable person. Mm -hmm. I got it honestly from my grandfather and it's just been passed down for me. My family didn't have a lot a lot to give, uh, but what my grandfather did instill in me and, and my dad was that uh, you may not have a lot to offer somebody, but what you can offer that person can take them a long ways. So I got I got I got it in at an early game. I didn't know I was going to do this. I just knew I liked to I like to cook. Mm -hmm. um, like I mentioned earlier, I don't consider myself a chef because I wouldn't disrespect um, a real chef that you know I went go to culinary went, school. Went to culinary that, school. Yeah. And I wouldn't do that. Right. I am a cook, though. I have a good palate, and I'm able to put certain ingredients and certain things together that make them come across and taste really good. Mm -hmm. um, that passion um, of cooking, other people telling me, hey, man, you can sell this. And then I started doing a, going to all the local bar barbecue places. I'm not going to say any names. <laughs> uh, but your favorite barbecue place, it can't, it's not comparable. No, it's uh, not. And it's not boastful. Look at family. All you have to do is come boy. by and get some barbecue from Smokehouse Barbecue. That's B O B B Y Barbecue. Well, we're gonna get to that segment. But 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 brothers barbecue. Yeah. Um, oh. A, a, oh, a, and then on top picture. of that, um, I had a stroke of bad luck. Uh, I was got unemployed. Mm -hmm. um, so I just thought about it and decided, what am I good at? And so I just gave it a gave it a uh, gave it a twirl, not even intended. Then I got blessed with a free barbecue pit. A oh, big one, oh, big one. Can't and I that. was like, oh, wow. And so I started just playing around, and really, it got bigger on me, and this just came across all good. Okay. Now, uh, I already told the viewers what you, <laughs> Rich is still going. He's like one of them zombies <laughs> off Night of the Living Dead, bro. Man, that is a Breathe, Richard. Compliment. Breathe, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> now, we, we told the viewers what you brought for us today. Are those your signature dishes, or is there something? The first time I eat at Smokehouse Barbecue, what's the first thing I should order? The first thing you should order would be probably my brisket lasagna. Um, that I didn't, I didn't know it was going to take off. A lot of people they're kind of apprehensive when they when I say brisket lasagna because I don't I don't know why because it's just a it's different meat. cut of beef. Mm -hmm. um, yes, but it, it's. I have to say that simply because I've spent so much time making that dish. Right. It takes me like 14 hours just to smoke the meat to, to get it how I want it. Right. Um, right. Homemade sauces, the tomato sauce I make by myself, and the cheese sauce I also make by myself. Everything is hand chopped by me, um, from the rooter to the tutor. Literally. Everything is me. Hmm. Um, so that would be the, the dish that I would recommend. And after that, you got to get it. You got to try my um, cherry smoked and cherry glazed um, ribs. Um, no, that's the secret he didn't want to say, but it's really not a secret because I can tell you how to do something, just, but I'm not going to tell you what I did to make it come out that way. Exactly. I tell you how to do it, but I ain't going to show you how to do it. That's how you know he's a master barbecue right. because you know you could tell somebody how to do something, but you could be like, man, I tried it, but it didn't come out the exact way you did it, and it's well, never, it'll never come out the same. Well, you. I spend a lot of time Cultivating your, cultivating I spend a lot of time. I do a lot of things that a lot of people won't, won't, they just won't do. Um, it's nothing that you, that I'm telling people um, that they can't find out on their own. Mm -hmm. They can go to YouTube and find everything that I'm doing, but it's a process on how I'm doing that I'm not giving up. Right, mm -hmm. right. That's right. That's you got to have you gotta your come see you, boy. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. if, if he tell you how to do it, then there's no point in you buying his, right? So that's why he can't tell you. Now, I take like I told him when we were out there eating. <coughs> excuse me. I said, um, I'm a Yankee. Y'all know I'm from up north. Up north, we put sauce on our ribs. Oh, and we, we always have, we always will. These ribs are literally the first I've ever had without sauce that I like, not even my mama's and my dad's. First sauce I had without ribs that I actually enjoyed, that had flavor to where I didn't need no sauce. And you said the same thing, yeah, right? You don't even need it, man. I mean, it is, it is cooked to perfection. Tender, cooked just right. Melt in your mouth, eat everything, you even eat, and no gristle on it either. No, I think I, ate, I, think I ate the gristle. I just want to know how long, it, if you say it take you 14 hours to get the brisket just right, how long did you leave the ribs on the rack? 
Truthfully, mm -hmm. I did those ribs in about two hours. That was a rush job. Yeah, right, right. That's what? what he told us. He was like, oh, this is a rush job. This is something I threw together. We like, you just threw this you together. You just threw this together, <laughs> right. You, yeah. you just. I had those done in about two hours. Yeah. And see, we're not easily impressed. Y'all know no. all the stuff we do and all the different functions where we eat at, we eat good food. And I wasn't going to get on here and lie to y'all. That's why I told him. I said, we need something to eat. Because I'm not going to get on here and say, oh, go see my boy. He can slap. And it ain't because y'all come to me and say, man, y'all, you told us to eat over there. It's hard. He's slapping, y'all. For real, for real. I, I may have lost some weight, but I'm still a fat boy at heart. So, and I, it's, it's good. Now, you do desserts? No, I don't do desserts personally, mm -hmm. um, but I have a, I have a baker on my team. Have a baker on team. Yeah. And you do, and we talked about earlier, you do cater. I do full catering. Uh, I specialize, of course, in barbecue, but I do full catering, uh, wedding receptions, uh, corporate events. If you want fruit trays, I can do that too. Just don't look at the barbecue. Uh, only and think that's all I do. <laughs> right, 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 right. I don't want to get pigeonholed. Right. But I do right. full catering as well. Okay. Aww. Now, I will tell you this. Go see him. Now, we're going to give you the opportunity to give our viewers your information, your social media, your number. How can they contact you? If they want to come to Smokehouse Barbecue, how do they get in touch with you? Okay. Well, um, I'm not shy about giving out my number, um, but you can contact me at 832-851-5925. ask for Euro. That's U H R O, and I'm um, pit master of uh, Smokehouse Barbecue. That's B O B B Y Barbecue. That's my slogan, all DBA'd up, so don't try to steal it. Uh, come back and get you. Um, also, <laughs> if you're on Facebook, you can also go to my um, my, my main page, which is uh, Yuri Thomas, uh, and I have another Facebook page uh, for my um, business as well, linked to that, and you can find everything. If you, you can shoot me a message or you can call me directly. I pretty much answer the calls as, as they come. I stay on my phone, and if I don't, get back to you, but I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, and of course, it, it'll be, it's, it's here on the screen for you guys too, but hey, we're out of time for this particular segment, but uh, Yuri, hey, we appreciate you, man. Thank hey, you. And yeah, it was slapping. So we appreciate you. Just make you sure Richard didn't eat all the ribs because I want some more. I'm hip. He brought a whole. Hey, he brought hey, a whole. You know hip. what? Did you see how he was hovering over the whole pot? Yeah. yeah. I seen that. You might not want to eat those right now. Man, I don't that's, even care. I'm, those I'm, are his. Man, that's my brother. Those are his. We, we, once you play football oh, with a guy, yeah. you drink out the same water bottles. You, you ain't getting my ribs. Why, why not? I just want some more macaroni and cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Long story. We'll tell y'all about it later. But hey, thanks for coming through, bro. Thanks, we'll see you. Thanks, really man. Appreciate thanks for having. We'll be right back, y'all.